Hey guys. So I wanted to make a video about what to do when the thing you want is just not happening. It's just not happening. You believe that you've done everything right. You've done everything the way you're supposed to do it. You've decided what you want. You're, you're intending to get it. You have the faith that you're going to get it. You know you're going to get it. Do you? Um, and you are grateful for everything that you already have. Are you? Um, what do you do when you believe that you're doing all those things and you still don't have the thing that you want? The first thing, the first thing is, um, is this just a matter of you being impatient? If it's been like a few days, a week, a month, something like that, um, you need to just go like fly a kite. You need to go clean your room. Just go think about something else. You're, you're putting too much focus on it. And so you're experiencing the watched pot never boils phenomenon. You gotta just grow up and get and develop patience. Go to the grocery store to buy your groceries. Get in the longest line that that is that is available. Stand at the end of it and just force yourself to fucking sit there until you get all the way up there a half hour later while everybody else is going by you in another lane. Learn to develop patience. Patience is the reward of patience. It relieves the feeling that you have about your thing not being here yet. So that's the first thing. Um, if you feel like that is not an issue for you, if you feel like you've just waited forever, if you feel like this is an ongoing thing that is never happening for you, what you need to do, I think, first is this. You need to fully accept, admit to yourself, whatever, that it's you that is causing it not to come about. It's you that, it, it's not some outer thing deciding when you get to have it. It's a process that works in a certain way. And there's a part of the equation that is you that is that has to be oriented in the right way. Or if you like Abe Hicks, you have to be a vibrational match. Or if you're Neville Goddard or person or whatever, you it has to feel so natural that you would think it would happen anyway. You know, it has to feel natural to you. Um what that all boils down to really is that there is something about you and your orientation towards this thing that is blocking it from coming into existence and that is really what you have to do you have to accept that and understand that because i can't tell you what that thing is and unfortunately you know there's really no way to just tell you what it is <laughs> there's no way to come up with it really for me or anybody else and a lot of people have tried and and some you know maybe there are some generalized things that apply to everybody or apply to a lot of people but really it's going to be up to you to figure out what it is if you assume it's me that's stopping this and you take and you just take that as like the god's honest truth you just take that as gospel it's me that's preventing this from happening if you if you operate that way in general you'll find that this, this becomes a lot easier because then all you have to do is figure out what it is. What is it that I'm thinking about this thing? What, you know, what is it that I'm thinking about this? What is it that I'm feeling towards this? What is it, you know? And, and usually it's something really fucking obvious. Like you really want a job and you keep applying for it. Somebody left, um, somebody left a comment about how they're they keep like almost getting, they want this particular job and they keep interviewing and almost getting it. And, and, um, then they don't get the job. Like they think an interview went really well and then they don't get it. Um, my guess would be for that, in that particular instance, like if, if this is a job you're not getting, you, you got to look at, there's something in there that is stopping you from getting it because you're having these interviews, like you're getting your foot in the door and then something about your interview is causing you not to be chosen for the job you want. And it's something you are saying or doing. It's something about you in that interview. You're not being chosen for that job. Why? Why? Um, I can't tell you why that is. You'd have to look at it. You'd have to look at the job. Is there a part of the job um, that is good? You know on some level if I get this job, there is just this part of this I'm going to fucking hate. 
99% of this job is exactly what I want. But man, in the back of your mind, there's this little thing about it that you're like, you know that if you actually get this thing, you're gonna be miserable. That's just, I'm just coming up with shit, you know. That is like something that could absolutely be causing you to in some way, you are not in any way conscious of sabotaging, you know, going into these interviews and, you know, either you're not saying what they need to hear or you're saying something they don't wanna hear or your overall vibe just doesn't connect with the energy of the interviewer for them to say, that's the person for this job. Um, you know, is that always the case with every job? Is every person offered a job having a magical connection with the person interviewing them? No, and it doesn't, it's not relevant to you because you're the one having the problem. <laughs> like thinking about these other scenarios that kind of look like yours that don't support this, you know, like, do you want to fix it or not? Because this is the solution, really. If you accept that you're the one, and if you don't accept this, then just get out of the whole manifestation area altogether and just go saying, I can do it. Just keep hammering away at it. Eventually you'll get it. You know, on your hundredth interview, you finally will have worked this out without ever thinking about it. And maybe you'll get it. Or you'll just get so fucking tired of it that you'll just go, okay, I don't really want that anymore. That's also a totally viable option. But if you are here and, and thinking about this from a manifestational standpoint, you have to understand that it is you creating the thing on some level or another. And so if you want this thing that's not happening, you know, all you can really do is start with the base premise of I am the reason I'm not getting this. Not in a blaming, I'm an asshole, piece of shit kind of way. Just here's the fact. The fact is that I'm creating this experience. I'm creating this. The fact is that I have to be doing something to be preventing this from coming into my reality in a real way. And that is probably something I am thinking or feeling about this job or about myself in relation to this job. And from there, I don't know, you know, when I get really real with myself about this kind of stuff, it usually all just comes flooding out and then it's kind of over after that. Um, you probably know what this is already. Maybe you're desperately trying not to give it any energy because you, you know, of whatever you've heard about how it's bad to do that, or you shouldn't think about, you know, you're, if you're having a problem, then you got to throw that advice out the window of just not looking at it or giving it any attention. The exact thing you're going to have to do is give it some attention probably. And that is what I would do. That is what I would say to do for that. Uh, take a few minutes um, you know, quietly by yourself and don't think about anything else and just ask yourself, why am I hesitating to get this job? Like stop thinking of it as the interviewer didn't give you the job or your manifestation didn't work or you didn't do it right or whatever. Look at it from the standpoint of you. Why am I not just flowing right into this job? even though I really want, I'm in a frenzy about it, I really want it. You know, that right there might be um, a clue. What is it that I'm thinking I'm gonna get from this job that I really know I'm not? What is it that I'm running away from to try to get this job? What is it that I think this is gonna do? Um, you know, what is it about having this job that is going to inflate how others view me? You know, what about this is coming from the ego? Because a lot of time, you know, a lot of time, you know, it's like you can manifest things coming from the ego, but a lot of people get hung up there. I'm one of them. If you don't want to, if you don't want to create a life filled with, you know, ego achievements and things that don't really mean anything, if you don't really want that and that's not, you know, you're not okay with that, then anytime an ego pursuit comes into play, you're going to have a reservation, you know? There's really no getting around getting to understand yourself and your motivations. There's really not, especially and, you know, importantly for people that are having problems getting something they want. That is the key. That's the key. Figure it out. If, if you don't, then like I said, maybe you can just go to 30 more interviews. Maybe eventually you'll figure it out. Maybe you'll just be leaving one. And you'll just go, man, you know, I just, I can see now that I just said something weird in that interview that seemed to me like it was going to be something really appealing. But I realize now that 
that interviewer probably thinks I'm a total fucking weirdo for being for saying that in every one of these interviews and oh my god you know maybe you'll come upon it on your own the hard way by just going through the school of hard knocks uh, which is how everybody does everything and has since essentially the dawn of man if you want to you know get ahead here and and start to use this stuff to your advantage you can uh, look at yourself and what you're thinking about yourself in relation to what the thing is that you're not getting and sometimes you can just alight upon it and and go okay I realize like oh I see I didn't think there were any good people left no wonder I don't see my fiance sliding into my dms right now you know or gosh I realize I'm just really carrying around this feeling that I'm just kind of like somebody that isn't to be taken seriously gosh I wonder why it is that you know I'm not doing more in this very important passion field that I'm interested in or why it is that I have such a reservation about anybody seeing my content there's always something there blocking things from coming into existence if they're not here because once you're in alignment with it like Esther Hicks says once you're in alignment once you're a vibrational match it's there it's just there it just flows it just gets created it's so easy it's it's not it doesn't just magically appear most of the time it's just that you go oh my god I literally had to do this one thing that I haven't been doing and now I have the thing I want I need to notice something that's sitting right there I need to do this thing that I've been wanting to do but that I haven't even considered doing because I didn't feel confident enough to do it it comes about that way so um that's what I would suggest doing that me personally that's what I would do if I were you and that's what I did recently on this channel uh, to address why is it that, you know, I don't feel like this thing can just flow to me. What What is this like reservation I have about doing things in this area? And it wasn't exactly because, you know, I, there was something not happening that I wanted to happen, but it's it's the same type of thing. I mean, I just attack it head on immediately. If it doesn't feel totally great, like if the orientation towards something I want doesn't feel just like completely free of static. Like there's a free full straight flow straight towards it. And I start to feel a desire for it. I try to get that shit out of the way so that it's not there causing me to fail over and over and over again at something I'm trying to do before I finally go, okay, what could be causing this? Like just do it right away. There's got to be something there is all I'm saying. It's not bad luck. It's not being cursed. It's not uh, God decided that you can't have it. Um, it's coming from you. It's almost definitely coming from something you feel about yourself in relation to that. That is causing you to like say some weird fucking thing in an interview that you don't, you don't recognize as being the thing that's preventing you from getting the job. And you don't need to try to figure out what that is. You just need to try to figure out what's going on with you. And you will automatically, your behavior will automatically change. And you'll stop saying the wrong things and you'll start saying the right things. And, and you'll start being the right person for that job that you're not getting or whatever. So I hope that made sense and helped somebody. I hope it helped the person who um, left me the comment a few weeks ago about this. There's a reason why you keep going through the interview process and not getting the job. Um, and you know what? Sometimes it's not because there's something wrong. Sometimes it's because there's a better job waiting for you. And that's something that people don't like to hear. Sometimes it's because there's a better opportunity and you're going to be so glad you didn't get this thing you were after because now you're getting the whole essence of the thing that you're trying to get from this job you're not getting plus a bunch of other shit uh, that's even better and even more mind-blowing. That's another reason that that can be happening. I think most of the time, it's not that. I think most of the time... It, it's you. So that's my opinion on that. Hope it helps somebody. Have a great day.